it's double delight on NDTV. Joining me right now are Satvik Sairaj Rankareddy and Chirag Shetty, the doubles champion uh, of uh, Uber, uh, Thomas and Uber Cup. Uh, in fact, uh, they won the second match against Assam and Sukam of Indonesia. They were a part of that history making Thomas uh, Cup win uh, on Sunday in Bangkok. Uh, we saw you. Uh, in the celebrations, almost a sort of Ganguly like celebration, taking your shirt off. Chirag, sir, could you talk yeah. us through that celebration? Um, with, uh, well, I think um, it was, uh, <laughs> it was, I think it was, it came really organic. I think, um, I think we were just, uh, we, we couldn't really believe that uh, we were able to beat them because, um, like, uh, we've uh, played them a lot of times i think we've uh, lost to them almost 10 11 times before uh, kevin and we've never been able to beat him um like as a pair uh, but uh, this time and that too uh, in a thomas cup final beating them from being four match points down i think uh, it couldn't have gotten any better and uh, i had really i really had no control over my emotions and um, i just let it flow and just removed my t-shirt and just threw it into the crowd Wonderful. And we were all rejoicing that moment. Uh, Satvik, tell us, at what point did you and Chirag believe that a miraculous turnaround is around the corner? Was it when you struck 23-21 in the second game? Uh, uh, I think uh, in the crucial stage, uh, we can feel the tense in the Indonesian space as well. So... They were not in a comfortable position when we are close, like 19, 20, I saw them like they're in like more panic situation. Then I thought, okay, so we can do this time, but we should calm or not calm. We should be in calm position, not to like hurry up for the point. So we should just play, let it go, let it go, it will come. So, and uh, when we got, when we won the second game, then I thought, okay, it's our game now. So we are in the upper hand. We have to take this, and we are winning this. And like there is like lot of positive thing around us, like on the court and off the court as well. And the crowd has been like phenomenal, and the uh, squad as well in the dugout as well. So I think for every point they were cheering like uh, like full in, all in, like for every match. So that was. Like that was the main key point that we won in the second game and the third game as well. Um, Chirag, we saw your reaction when Ehsan played it to the net. You saved four uh, match points and made a tremendous turnaround. Tell us what was really going through your head at that point. The cameras were on you, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, well, I think, uh, like I said, I think I was completely um in disbelief i was in complete disbelief that we had actually won the match uh because we were not really uh, we've never really been fancied against them uh because uh, one of them is a world number 1 the other one is a world number 2 and uh, uh they've had a really good track record in the thomas cup uh before um they've won it a couple of times and uh, they were the defending champions and so uh, when we um I hit that smash, um, cross court smash, and it fell uh, inside the court. I think uh, I just um, went went down on the court, and uh, I think um, all that aggression and everything came off. And because I think uh, we were thriving on aggression all throughout the tournament, and uh, I think uh, the team camaraderie that we had uh, really thrived on aggression, and everybody wanted to win it really, really badly. And I think we just ce celebrated like um, there's no tomorrow. And I was really, really happy. Satvik, uh, was it uh, all about aggression and confidence that saw you through? Because um, the Indonesians are 14-time champions and to beat them is unbelievable. Uh, yes, uh, definitely. Like uh, going into the match and playing finals against uh, like much experienced player in Indonesia. Uh, like it's a like before going on match like we we had a meeting that we said team so it's a fresh day they will be under pressure so we go as an all in team and we play like a champion so uh, it's a like big final for us big stage for us 
everyone is watching us uh, so we don't want to be in pressure situation and uh, like don't play like 50 50 matches we don't, we want to play 100% do well for the team and country so so this was the team huddle when we are in the team huddle this was the talk going on so we just go there and give 100 percent let's see what will happen let let uh, international be in pressure situation not india in a pressure situation so so yeah like uh, the way lux played the first single like he pulled off then we got like much more confident going on court like we are leading 1-0 and uh, then when we won then i thought like it's it's our cup i know that shikan bhai will do it for sure so we are like very confident like that he can pull it off from any stage so really happy the way like a team has uh, like uh, did in the past week so yeah Chirag uh, the Indonesians are very good with reflexes on their body so how did you try to keep away from playing it to their bodies because we knew once it was on their body they would uh, give it back to us um well um, like uh, we sat down with a coach uh, Mathias and uh, like uh, we decided what we uh, need to do to tackle that and uh, like i said we've not really been uh, Um, we've not really played that well against them, uh, and uh, this time we want we knew for a fact that we need to control our emotions and uh, not uh, fall prey to their tactics. That is to uh, lure us uh, into pushing them onto the onto their bodies, and um, we had to consciously decide that we need to uh, play it away from them as much as mm-hmm. possible. And if the shuttle is low, we just need to lift it high. and um, trust mm-hmm. our defense and that's what we did and um, i think that even at 2017 um, i think uh, i had a word with mathias and he told me to stick to the plan uh, and um, like um, just keep it simple as much as possible and that's what we did and and from 2017 we scored four back to back points and won that uh, second game and i think third game uh, uh, we were a lot more in control and we um, were a lot more at ease even though we were down but we were um, uh, i think uh, playing really really good badminton and uh, yeah i think um, after that uh, as i said rest is history we would play exceptionally absolutely and you guys are history makers today satvik i have to ask you a little bit about the contribution of mathias bo your uh, coach having an olympic medal winner in the middle helping you strategizing you what kind of difference does it make really uh i think uh, the way he thinks i think the way he plans everything is like like a champion like perfect perfect play everything is on point like everything makes sense for you on court and the tactics really works like the way we he played even we played against him so he knows what exactly happened at that time so he can read it really well and like if we stick to the plan we can do well at that time what happened is like in the crucial stages we stick to the plan it happened so that's how he, he played for the past 20 20 years and he was there for uh, world he was in world number 1 so so it's like he's a like very smart guy and he's very helpful all the time and even he wants to win even he plays with us so not me and chirag mm-hmm. three people will play on court he even he he is in the court he talks to us every time on every point so even he wa- he wants that win as well so i think that's the special bond between three of us Satvik and Chirag uh, you both uh, were a part of the Olympics campaign in Tokyo you beat the eventual gold medalist but you were in the group of death uh, it was very unfortunate the way you guys uh, went out of the Olympic games uh, Chirag would you say with this win you have been able to bury the ghost of Olympics um well uh, definitely i think um, to be um, crowned as the uh, world team champions i think uh, it couldn't have gotten any better and that to um, beating um, indonesia in the final uh, who have been the most successful team uh, in the thomas cup history winning it 14 times i think um, it's it's simply indescribable i think uh, like even yesterday when we were we all went out for dinner uh, uh, for team dinner uh, 
we were all talking about the past 10 days that had transpired and what uh, actually happened and everybody was in complete disbelief they were like uh, what if we actually uh, go to sleep and wake up think uh, and uh, like think ki are ye to it's it's a dream still a dream because we were we are still in denial that we actually have won the thomas cup final because um, we've done individually uh, we've well, uh, we've done well individually like win olympic medals win world championship medals but but we've never really been good in team events so this is i think uh, at the pinnacle i think it's one of the uh, i think it's definitely the biggest achievement in indian badminton for sure absolutely and uh, your coach vimal kumar also said that satvik has it sunk in for you the win uh i'm still in that dance zone i'm still fighting <laughs> inside uh like <laughs> i'm still there in the bed as well i couldn't wake up i was still dreaming like okay what happened what we did quarter finals we did okay quarter finals we played then again semis we beat them then the, like what was the conversation before like when we are in the quarter finals we are praying that we should get korea we should get china this is the easy team we can beat this is so much prayers going on then we got like one of the strongest team malaysia then we beat them then we are playing semi final then denmark and korea are playing and then we are playing korea should win korea can do korea will be much easier for us then that the korea lost then denmark came then we beat denmark then again finals it's indonesia it's like uh, like one of the best teams in thomas cup so it's I think it's like a 10 days dream journey for us it's like a one movie for us if we start from uh, day one how we started in hyderabad we did some reels in hyderabad in airport then we wanted to we finished yesterday and night that reel so you 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 can see that reel soon so that was a dream journey for us that 10 days and it's like a team like we are like we we are like a champion we went like a champion we played like a champion that everyone showed us like great spirit that team team spirit was there on the point i think one of the best days in my life i think yeah and it's such a good de- dream to have uh, chirag i'll have to ask you one last question um, well uh, there was a tweet that you sent out to air india to get give you a charter plane back home are you expecting to be chartered back uh that that was in uh, good humor right? i don't expect them to actually uh, charter a plane for us uh, if they do i think it will I, i'll be really really happy I, and all of my teammates will be uh, but uh, <laughs> let's see if it actually happens but you deserve it you deserve it perhaps at this point more than anyone else you are the champions of india and india waits to welcome you back thank you very very much for joining us on the broadcast thank you thank you so much thank you